everybody john with owl and hopefully you can see it. it's a little bit sunny and overcast at the same time today which makes for some weird lighting but speaking of lighting do you see that transition wow that was like pro that was way higher production value than my videos usually are i've done a couple of tips and tricks videos and one of the things that customers notice the most in those are not my tips and tricks they are these the hood scoop light pods this is something that I think is a really, really cool way to integrate lighting into your van. It's something that um, people have just been going nuts for and calling and asking where to buy it. And the answer has been, you can't because they're not out yet. And so these are something that we worked uh, with a partner on and they really make great use of dead space. In fact, I should have grabbed the stock vents, but you probably have stock vents on your Sprinter. Let me run over here to this Sprinter. Disregard that. Oh, what's that in the background? That's fun. All right, so here is the stock vents on this Sprinter. And what happens over time, A, this one's fake. And unless you go to Craig and Auto Parts and you put those fake vents on the side of your car, you may like that, but I'm not a huge fan of fake. Now I understand why they did it, because that one's real. And if you only had a vent on one side of the hood, it would look weird and asymmetrical. So I totally get why Mercedes did it, but I don't want fake vents on my car. So let's make use of this. And also this, we're in Arizona, so we get sun. And if you live anywhere where it gets really, really sunny, what happens is this starts to potato chip over time and get kind of wonky. And this one is a screen. So you can see that this one actually has air passed through it. That is not an engine air intake. That is your cab air intake. So that is for the HVAC, the heating and air conditioning inside of the cab you hopefully i unlock this van let's see of course not let me unlock the van and show you all right so prepared me went ahead and got the keys from inside and unlocked the van so now we can actually look at things so again i mentioned that is a cab air filter so disregard that thing that's hanging down right there we'll talk about that in a moment this is your air filter and this is our onboard air system we actually put the this is a technical term, ladies and gentlemen, the air sucker inners <laughs> inside of this box because it's actually going to suck colder air than it would from inside the engine bay because it's actually got a tunnel. Sorry about that, video stopped running. So there's actually a tunnel that goes from this side all the way under here over to this side. And I've actually removed, there's a black panel here that has is held on by adhesive. And so when you install this kit, you just put it back on with new adhesive, but you take this panel off. This is where the vent comes through and the air runs through. So you may ask, and it's a good question. Why is the vent over there if the air box for the interior of the vehicle is over here? And the reason is water and I guess some dust because things that are suspended in the air or fall down from the sky like rain, uh, if they travel in a vent here and assuming this hood is flat it's an area for all of that stuff to collect in there and be drained out as opposed to going straight into the air box which is not what you want so that's why they do that cool thing about this system that we've designed is this and you you won't be able to see this you won't be able to see this in the video but obviously i can feel it all of that venting is still behind this light and you're going to get plenty of air in there because if you're traveling you're actually getting a bit of a ram air and it's going to uh, venture straight in there and it's going to continue to allow you to have that air over to your cab now on this side that panel is solid because there's no vent here so the bottom of that panel is solid and you don't really need to worry about it overall these have a matte black finish to them and hopefully you can see those lights in there it might be a little hard to see there's an LED light in here. And it's just, to me, it's so much cleaner than, so I use, see these ditch lights on this Ford? I've always thought that ditch lights look uh, very aftermarket-like. And I use one here for my antenna, for my radio. But outside of that, I don't love them for lights. They just don't look like they're integrated and factory. And we're all about doing things from the factory. So these come as a pair. And it's a perfect way, notice how it's kind of angled out. It's a perfect way to get light onto the edges of the trail. Uh, I use these a ton in the snow. When you're off-roading, it's a really good way to light up a ditch, if you will. And then of course, you've got your front wood facing lights. I've got a triple R LED light bar. 
right here, which the Pismo bumper comes pre-drilled for. And then you've got your grill lights there. I've obviously got the big lights, the big Bajas up top. So <laughs> I'm not uh, wanting for any more light. In fact, some people out there may say I'm compensating, but it's all in the name of good visibility off-road. That's what I'm telling the world. So these take the place of ditch lights that hook onto your hood and they look way cooler. And it also maintains that ability to use that cabin air. And if I open this up again, these uh, wire directly up to, in fact, I have the harness here. I'll plug it in. I just unplugged them because I was changing them out the other day. So I'll plug in this side so you can see how they work. Now it is daytime, so it's not going to be as cool and appealing. It also won't be as bright as it would be at night. How cool is that? Look at how good that looks. And of course you can aim this. This is aimed a little bit far down. I can, uh, uh, when you're installing this, you can aim it and you can leave it a little bit loose because you can still access these uh, Allen screws on the side and you can really aim that to where you want it. But how cool is that? I'm just gonna stand back here and you can see it just looks badass it kind of looks like an oem mercedes running light and then you've got those you've got the uh leds and the grill lights the running lights and the grill lights this has led headlights it's just a fantastic looking front end so even during the day it looks good just can imagine at night how well it works i'm going to turn this engine off and then we'll finish up this video so these new vent light pod mounts are available on our site for pre-order that I think they're about when I make this video they're like uh four-ish weeks out but it'll say in the listing and then if you're watching this video video at a later date they're probably in stock because that's the kind of company we want to be and if something's in stock it will ship in sometimes same day but almost always in less than a week if you found this video useful we have a lot more YouTube videos out there for you to learn about vans and tips and tricks etc uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. That's how you get notified of new videos. And we are going to have an install uh, video on these as well. They're not terribly difficult to install. I will go over the installing of the vents, but me plus wiring equals fire. So if you want them wired, I'm gonna have it done by the pros here at Offroad. Uh, you can obviously tackle the wiring yourself, but that will not be part of the how-to video because I don't wanna burn down our new facility. Hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs>